What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. Let me take a little bit of a break. Uh, we be in savage mode for a little bit. We are gonna step out onto the track so we can have a little bit of a conversation. Got the basketball courts down there. I'm not ready. You know, the way that my knees is set up, based off of my age, being 41 years old, it's a little bit different, but I'm excited, man. I've made some adjustments to my schedule and the way in which I go about doing things. And I pivoted a little bit and uh, life is good, man. Life is absolutely awesome because now uh, we're starting to develop a regular routine where we basically in the gym six days a week uh, because health is wealth. And what is the point of becoming successful? Whether it be financially, uh, being emotionally stable, or being in a great space with the people that you love, if you will not be along long enough to really be able to enjoy it or enjoy it to its fullest potential. So I encourage you guys to embrace the things that's actually conducive for your lifestyle and not just the things that's messy. But that's not what I want to talk to you guys about today. I want to talk to you guys specifically, specifically about dirty macking. It's becoming a pandemic out here for these dirty macs. And, uh, I don't like the shit that I'm seeing out here. I'm not a fan of it. Dirty Mac, and for those of you that's not familiar, to keep it short, to give you the concise explanation of what it is, the, the cliff notes, is when dudes, in some way, shape, or form, and sometimes it can come in in ways in which it seems like it's not really Dirty mac but it is, but basically it's dudes that's standing on the shoulders of another dude or trying to down another dude in order to try to create a space or a lane for himself most of the time in the eyes of a woman. Now, Dirty Mac can come in a lot of different forms, not just with regard to women now. And that's the caveat is because we're used to seeing it or the origin of Dirty Mac originated with women, right? So largely, we've always seen these type of dudes. You've seen them in high school, you've seen them in college, and you see them today. And what they like to do is talk negative about another dude in order for them to try to get a leg up in the eyes of the women that they really like. And that can't help you, fam. Nine times out of 10, it do not work. And then every once in a while, a little less than 10% of the time, she may give you a little bit of a shot, but then when she realizes who you is, she ultimately gonna walk away from that situation anyway. But here's the thing. I've always been of the of the mindset that I don't have to necessarily talk negative about another dude in order for me to get my stripes, especially in the eyes of a woman. I think that that's some of the weakest shit ever. Now, if you just don't like a dude, you know what I'm saying, and you you expressing what it is that you think about him, that's one thing. I think that it's a, a way for you to be able to handle that, especially if you're an older dude, such as myself, I'm 41 years old, I embrace it, I love getting older, it's a blessing, some of y'all didn't make it. I never thought that I'd make it to be this age, I never thought that I'd make it be, to be 21 years old. And to be 41 and in, in a great space, it's a blessing, right? And so for us older dudes, we know better. You know better than to talk bad about another dude just to try to big yourself up because that don't make you look good. It make you look weak. It make you look like a sucker. You know what I'm saying? And so especially if you're doing it in order to try to get some brownie points for a hoe, come on, fam, you better than that. You supposed to be working on your own game, working on your own life, focused on what it is that you supposed to do. Like I said, it's a difference between if you don't like a dude, then I think that it's a way for you to be able to handle that also. Walk away, don't give a fuck about him, keep it moving, don't focus on what he got going on, focus on what you got going on. It's a vast earth, nine billion people out here. There's more people for you to align with. You ain't got to worry about what he got going on. Focus on what you got going on. It ain't even about him. It's about you anyway. You know what I'm saying? So that's how you handle that. Or, or you can reach out to him if you think it's worth it. Reach out to him. Have a man to man. It don't mean that he gonna move any differently, but it ain't about what he do. 
life is 10% of what happens to you, 90% of how you react to it. But then when you add a woman into the mix, man, let me tell you something, man. Throughout history, women have taken down kingdoms at the behest or the beheading of a man. It's always some dude that she put a battery in his back to do the thing that's not in his best interest for her own come up. And now you want to give her more power. And we've seen this happen all throughout history. We've seen dudes crash out for a woman. We've seen dudes get finessed by women. We've seen dudes fumble the bag as a result of a woman. And every single day I see y'all going to war. And at the at the very the very foundation of that war is usually something with regard to a woman. Now, it's layers to it, right? Because it may be a dude that ain't a part of the Dirty Mackin' game, but he just found out that the dude was just so disrespectful. And so his pride or his ego is now causing for him to address the situation because it's the principle of it, and I get it. If it's the principle of it, I understand, but it does not mean that you're supposed to crash out because it don't even matter. She's just a chick, and if she was gullible enough to listen to a dude that was dirty macking, never defend yourself, ever defend yourself in the eyes of a woman. If she not rocking or if she gullible enough to even consider or listen to another dude and she's supposed to be in your presence, she for the streets. Let her go. She wasn't yours anyway. But then let's address the other person. A dude that has made a, a name for himself. You ultimately gonna be looked at a suck, as a sucker once everybody figure out who you are anyway. Whether it's on the internet, whether it's a city that you live in, everybody know that you a sucker. Everybody know that you a punk. Everybody know that you, everybody, everybody knows who you are eventually, the word gonna get around. And when everybody discover it, then ultimately you'll just be a leper. It's unfortunate. It's very, very much unfortunate, but it's the times in which we live in, and now what was used to be, or what was used to be considered um, sucker behavior is now a part of our norm. Everybody is, is, is clout chasing and everybody trying to make a name for themselves, even if it ain't about a bag and it's in the eyes of a woman, and that's unfortunate. If that's you, there's just a lot of people that's gonna be in the comments talking about, yeah, 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 I feel you, Anton, yeah, that's true. And some people, you know, they justified in saying that, but some people, they're very much the culprits or they're responsible for some of the pandemic of what we see dudes is operating in in this femininity as far as dirty macking is concerned anyway. We can't keep allowing this for, this for this to happen. You can't allow for it to happen in your circle. You can't necessarily do nothing about it as far as for them, but you ain't gotta let it, let it, let it persist in your circle per se, all right? Listen, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I enjoy y'all for continuing to take the ride with me. Make sure you tap into the Millionaire Morning Show. Jump into the Patreon link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. Uh, if you don't have your Tee Chanley, 30% off your first order plus a free gift. I'm about to go out here and finish my workout. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace.